I don't believe that there is an African American in our nation who cannot recall at some point uh, feeling the sting of racism. The church has the mandate to address the evil of racism in society because it's a violation against the human person. Many of us, if we are truly honest with ourselves, know that we as a society seem to be moving backwards these days. For racial hatred is on the increase. There are threats of domestic terrorism and rallies of intolerance and chants of blind obedience to darkness. I'm sorry when those protests go violent or destructive, but I understand the frustration that energizes them, especially in light of many of the experiences of police brutality or mob brutality that have been found in these past several months, but well beyond these past several months. protests, the division, are consequences of a violation that has taken place on so many levels where wounds are very real. So we look at incidents of, of the past summer and, and most people, you know, look at those situations and say that, that should not happen. Where others, brothers and sisters in Christ said, but guess what? It has happened. It's happened to me uh, and it continues to happen to my neighbor. Uh, and so as bishops, we see that these wounds are very real and as bishops it is our sacred duty to be the voice that will bring about healing and unity. This ugliness, this stain on our society exists as a result of too many people turning away from the Word of God and even perverting the Word for their own dark purposes. To eradicate an evil like racism, there has to be a partnership. There is no one group, there is no one denomination that all by itself can do this. It's a partnership of coming together. The church has a lot to contribute to that dialogue uh, and to that moving forward and would be even more effective if it does in partnership with civic leaders.